up, Drake Martin? This is my challenge to you. Get that freaking world record for the world craft bath grody and cheese to assistant speed run. You better do it, my bro. Clock's ticking. Let's see what you can do. Dear Chris, you have recently issued me a challenge. I, as a committed individual of the speedrunning committee, accept this childish attempt at a test of my abilities. Do you think this will be difficult? Like, are you kidding me? You're so stupid. Well, Mr. Fatty, I accept your challenge. And today, me and my assistant, Ian James Garvey, will be getting the world record for the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese speedrun. We began by analyzing what we could aim to speed up in order to decrease the runtime. With this being the tool assisted category, we would be making custom gadgets to help our chance at the world record. Starting with the stirring method, we believe that using a drill to power a well-fitting spatula would work perfectly for the route. We went back to the drawing board and found that attaching the spatula parallel to the drill worked a little better. Next was the method of distribution for the milk. We believe that injecting the milk at high pressures would make the butter and cheese sauce mix in faster. We found that this substantially cut down on mixing time. This would be an integral time save for the speed run. Then we looked into our options for draining the water. We tried many different methods, including a straight pick up and twist, through the legs, throwing the pot. That's some air on that. And even looked into making this a two player route. Oh, hey, fuck. One of the last things we had to do was find the optimal eating method. We experimented with eating via a spoon, then eating with a hand and a spoon, and then what we found to be easily the most optimal. We had found the quickest eating method. However, there were some unforeseen consequences. The last thing we had left to optimize was boiling time. While most speedrunners consider this to be an unavoidable time sink, we found quite the opposite to be true. Research shows that water boils faster the higher your elevation is, but due to restraints put in place by ASMAC, you must remain within a 13 and a half foot radius of the kitchen for the entire run. Luckily, we were able to find a solution. With our experimentations concluded, we began preparing for our first attempt at the run. So it's been about a week. Uh, we've been practicing and mastering the techniques. Um, we think we're going to just be able to beat the current world record. We're gonna set up this will be our first attempt at the route. Uh, Ian will be filming me to make this a big official run. And yeah, let's get started. I began setting up, but time was of the essence. As I was soon to learn, Asmac had just outlawed my strategy of speeding up the milking process. Guidelines for the speed run are determined by what is stated on the box, and it is implied in step number three that butter, milk, and cheese sauce must be mixed in at the same time. Dude, I don't think we're going to be able to get the record without the Super Soaker skin. We were devastated. We were back to the drawing board, back to square one, back to the same place we were six days ago. Ian and I completely lost our motivation for the project. He went back to selling fake OnlyFans leaks on Discord, and I went back to releasing Wolfpack base covers. Are you fucking kidding me? And when we thought it couldn't get any worse, Richard Tyler Blevins broke the current world record. This is such bullshit. There's gotta be a solution to this. 
solution. A solution will mix the butter, milk, and cheesy sauce together and then use the water gun. I quickly called Ian and asked him to meet me at the testing facility as soon as possible. The results came in that this would be even faster than our previous method. After a quick call to ASMAC to ensure the legalities of this method, we were off to perform our first run. We're here today at Drake Martin's first attempt to get the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Tool Assisted Speed Run World Record. It looks to be a beautiful day out there in Southern Illinois. I'm Chris and I'll be commentating this broadcast. I'll be explaining the typical tactics used as well as speculating on whatever new techniques Drake and his team have come up with. Drake looks like he's ready to give his speech so I'll be right back. Okay boys, we're finally giving this a go. Our first attempt at the route. The run officially begins when the hot plate is engaged. But I would first like to take this time to thank those who have made our journey to this point possible. First, Jeff Martin, who provided us with the facilities that we required to find this route, and Mike Staclasa for showing me that obesity does not limit creativity. Let us begin. The timers are on standby. Three, two, one, and he's off. Go, 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 go. So what we're seeing here is that Drake has just engaged the hot plate. Now Ian is running inside to the fridge to grab the milk and butter. There has previously been a lot of controversy surrounding the use of assistance in these runs. Things like fetching ingredients, managing heating elements, and even stirring have all been discussed and regulated by ASMAC. They famously decided to allow assistant retrieved materials when they inducted the housewife clause. As is standard in these runs, the downtime of boiling and mixing is used to prepare for upcoming steps. If this team wants to be successful, they'll need to get the most possible out of every second. Drake is now preemptively mixing the milk and butter. I assume that the usage of an aluminium can is to take in heat from the sun to help the butter melt faster. You can see him applying a downward force to also decrease the butter melting time. He appears to be struggling to get the box open. This is definitely a sign of nerves, common among most first attempts. To cut down on time, he's retrieving the cheesy sauce packet from the box while requesting milk pickup from his assistant. This move was first pulled off in the 2018 world record by Ted Niverson. Since then, this has been known as the Milkman. I got the milk. I got the milk. We're mixing in the cheesy sauce. The milk is in the fridge. Drake is putting in the work to get the ingredients mixed into a paste. There has been a lot of chatter in the community recently about this new method of mixing. We are currently predicting an overall minute and three seconds reduction because of the super soaker skip. All right, we've hit the point now. We're, we're waiting. We're waiting for the water to finish boiling. We've done all the prep work that we can. You'd never say it's just a game to a pro like LeBron James. <coughs> Swallowed a bug. Next, Next topic. topic. I'm, I'm saving. saving my oh, fuck. He appears to have not been paying attention to the boiling state of the water. The timer has started for seven minutes, the minimum amount of stirring time allowed on the box. This is the most famous time sink of the run, where there is nothing to do but stand there and stir. Drake is using the classic method of drill-powered mixing. He seems to be having a difficult time operating the sensitive power tool. Dude, it was honestly such bullshit. I was supposed to make it on The Bachelor this year. The fucking Moses sabotaged the entire thing. It was really dumb. I would have made it on, I mean, I would have won that damn thing if 
I had just lied about my age. <clears throat> but you know what? I decided to maintain my Christian values. And I think it was for the better. In the long run, it's for the better. You know what I think I should do? I think I should just go down there. I should fucking kill him. The timer is out. The only thing stopping him now from finishing is his ability to mix, drain, and eat the macaroni. We see him now emptying the contents of the cup into the pot. OK, this is interesting. He appears to be using a Fortnite RPG Super Soaker to speed up the mix time. What? He's already done with the mixing phase? This is unprecedented in this community. Never in my entire eight-year career have I seen someone get to the draining phase with such efficiency. And as if his water broke, all fluid from inside has completely left the container. Oh, this is interesting. He appears to be going for the blender route, which hasn't been attempted since the infamous throw-up incident in 2016. The blender is now prepared. He seems to be determining if it has reached the right thickness. Bon appetit. And there he goes. What? He is drinking the Mac paste at an alarming rate. Is this humanly possible? Is this safe? Done, done, He's going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing history. If he maintains this for a couple more seconds, he will be the world record holder. He's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, Drake Martin is your new craft macaroni and cheese tool assisted speedrun world record holder.